Now look at, um, look at how all these male journalists reacted to the Trump tapes. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's hot mic. <laughs> they were appalled. They pretended to be appalled. I don't believe anyone when they say, I've never heard anyone talk like that. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say anything remotely like that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's disgusting. This man can't be president. The amount of pearl clutching and faux outrage and f oh my goodness. Weren't you just watching and thinking, you fucking liars. You liars. Do these people are holding, holding each other's hands on CNN crying because somebody said pussy. <laughs> Give me a break. I don't know anybody who hasn't said something like that. I don't know anybody who doesn't say that every week. But <laughs> maybe I just hang around in disreputable circles. But I... <laughs> But I doubt it. Um, I doubt it. No, I, I, don't, I just don't believe anyone. I don't believe anyone who says they don't know anyone who, sp who, who speaks like this. And this is you know, just, just one example of this sort of constant assault um, on boisterousness, on ordinary masculine nonsense. Um, I'm an expert in masculine nonsense. Um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about... <laughs> <laughs> little bit about why I like it so much, no homo. Um, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with, no, I'm, we're not going to get into gay stuff tonight. I don't like them either. Um, the left wants you to be outraged by, by, by being a man. Uh, they hate the idea that behind closed doors, men don't give a fuck what feminists think about how they speak. They don't give a fuck about phony political correctness and language policing. They let their guards down and banter and shock horror don't give a shit about microaggressions. This is how ordinary people in the real world talk. And the re one of the reasons I like Donald Trump is I think it's about time that we had somebody on the national stage, you know, in, in an important country that matters, who speaks a bit more like the rest of us. I think it'd be nice. Now, some of you are gonna have some issues with Trump, I mean, that's for another day, but it'd be nice if there was a politician who didn't lie, like all of those establishment Republicans did, about how men actually talk. So men don't bond by eating bonbons and watching Desperate Housewives. <laughs> they bond by telling dark jokes and roasting each other. If a guy hasn't called a friend a cock-sucking faggot in a month, they're probably not that good friends. <laughs> Ta I don't get called that very much because it's sort of redundant. But, <laughs> but taunting, is, taunting is how men bond. It's how we make friends. We take the piss out of each other. It's perfectly normal.